creating 500 plus blog posts in under 10 minutes on a topic that you don't know anything about at the click of a button based on a bunch of keywords that you found. Does that sound like a good idea? Welcome to auto blogging. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is David. And in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing a few different popular auto blogging platforms to check out the quality of content that they create. The way auto blogging platforms work is that they scrape the internet based on the keyword that you input. Then they form a blog post that's an amalgamation of what already exists. On top of that, some platforms can also add in an AI image for good measure to help make your content more unique. Finally, a lot of auto blogging platforms, you can just link it up to your website to automatically publish these blog posts to your website so you really don't have to do much. Now you do wanna use a WordPress plugin to help schedule everything out because you don't wanna just blast a website with 500 blog posts. But overall, I personally think that this is just another trend for people looking for a shortcut. If it's not clear, I'm not a big fan of auto blogging because I do find it to be just a shortcut and just another trend in a long line of trends for people who are just looking for exactly that, a shortcut. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm completely wrong and auto blogging is where it's at. So if you're ready to get started, make sure to check the links in the description for timestamps and resources mentioned in this video. So let's begin. Welcome to my laptop. Let's begin. So I'm going to lead off my list with Agility Writer AI and you get a free trial of this website by signing up. So this is the dashboard over here. You can create articles and you can create bulk articles. And they offer a one click mode and an advanced mode. So an advanced mode just has a few more options to click to kind of narrow in the focus of the article. Whereas one click mode is like, here's a keyword, go create it. Now bulk one click mode is exactly the same thing, except you're using it to generate a bunch of generic topics. Generic topics are things like, I don't know, why are bananas yellow? Why are, is the sky blue? Things like that. Then you have bulk advanced mode, which is the same as advanced mode article, but just for bulk articles and it creates silo links. And so silos are just an SEO theory that if you're creating content on a topic, you wanna to cover all the topics within that category to help establish topical authority. So let me go ahead and click on my history over here and let's see how Agility Writer stacks up if you're going to be using this tool to create a bunch of bulk generated articles. So I use the advanced feature over here to create what are the best countries for ESL teachers to save money and also the one click for how to use a green screen for your online class. So let's take a look at this one right here because it's the advanced mode, so it should be more comprehensive and better. And they also charge more for this one as well. So over here, you have your HTML, Word, and text documents. So let me click over here for the HTML document. Let's open up this. Boom, here we go. Okay, so it does create an AI image. So when you're creating the article, you can choose to have an AI image created along with everything. And this image, unfortunately, is not acceptable but just simply because the text over here is clearly made by AI. If this wasn't here, then it would be a little bit better. But overall, this image is kind of blurry and not really crisp and sharp, so not a big fan of it. Then it has a bunch of cliches up top here. We all yearn for a chance to tuck away some savings and blah, blah, blah. And then exclamation mark, exclamation mark. It's so obviously written by AI. This image is quite nice. And then I like this section right here. So benefit, cost of living, startup costs, lifestyle. Like That's important for a user who finds this article to know. But where it really falls apart for me is just down here. Like this is just not acceptable for me. As someone who has experience in this topic, it's just like, this doesn't go into any detail. It's very formulaic and repetitive, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I really don't like it. It's just very obviously written by AI and there's no insight. Like it's not that valuable. So you're gonna be creating a bunch of bulk articles that all are very, very surface level and not particularly useful. Like, for example, if I navigate down here to Thailand, like it doesn't give any insight into actually being a teacher in Thailand because anyone who's taught in Thailand knows that the salaries for English teachers are quite low, even though the cost of living is quite low. So this is actually not really that good of a country to quote unquote save money. You're going to be breaking even at best. And other countries like the United Arab Emirates are for highly experienced teachers who have like a master's degree and 10 years plus of experience. This is not, you know, you can save money here, but it doesn't go into any details that you would kind of need to know. Like, hey, if you need to be a professional teacher, this is not something that for someone who graduates from college with a four-year degree, that's you like Vietnam and Thailand are better options. So that's what I mean. Like it doesn't go into enough detail. It doesn't cover pros and cons. And again, this, you're going to be creating a bunch of articles that are kind of surface level like this. They're going to be automatically publishing to your website. And for me, I'm just not comfortable doing that. 
Like this isn't particularly helpful. And like, how are you going to be outranking other websites that actually have teachers and people who have experience creating detailed content? Now, one thing I do like is I do like the factual data right here that you can take advantage of and the source URL. So I do appreciate that it's giving me the like, where is the content coming from? Where is it being sourced from? Next up is autoblogging.ai. So with a $1 free trial, you get five credits to help generate articles. So once you log in, this is your dashboard to create bulk articles. You can just navigate over here to click on this bulk create button. They also provide a few different things like pro mode, godlike mode, Amazon reviews. So pro mode, let's navigate over here just briefly to check it out. So over here, you can have the article title, subheadings, keywords, and subheadings and keywords. And down here, you can have AI images. So it says currently not working. All right, I don't know. But again, just click on that. Similar to Agility Writer, it'll add in AI images and you can add in an FAQ and schema markup. Now we navigate over here to godlike mode. Now, godlike mode to generate SEO optimized articles or outputs, whatever. And this costs two credits. So pro mode costs one, godlike mode costs two credits. So if your title, article reference, and optionally add more keywords from Surface SEO, similar tools, other websites, then you can generate an article over here. And finally, you can create Amazon reviews at the click of a button. So the product URL, then the affiliate tag, you know, just create a generic product review for an individual product over here. And this costs one credit as well. And so it takes one to two minutes for it to be generated. And so there you go. So anyways, let's navigate over here to auto blogging. Let's go back to the dashboard and let me click on a bulk generate to show you what that is like over here. And so then you can just have bulk generation requests right there. And then you can have the auto post to WordPress feature right there, which does require a little bit of installation. So you have to have your homepage URL, your username, WordPress, uh, login information, the post status that you want it to be. So when it gets published to your website, you want it in draft form or to be published, probably draft is best because why would you want to blast a site with like a hundred articles all of a sudden out of the blue? And you can also add in multiple premium AI images for two additional credits down here as well. All right. So how is this? So let's navigate over here to history. So I had the free trial and I tested it out. So anyways, so best websites for finding ESL jobs. So let's go ahead and click on view. It's okay. It's a quick little like introduction paragraph. That's way too short. And then it's Dave's ESL cafe. It's one quick little sentence right there. Tefl quick little paragraph ESL employment like this is very surface level and it doesn't really for me in my opinion it just doesn't meet the search request someone who's looking for eso websites to find a job they're looking for like a jobs board for esl esl means english as a second language like being an esl teacher teaching english abroad that's what the person wants so we have dave's esl cafe yep that's a very popular website tefl.com okay esl employment that's not a, that's not real <laughs> like this is not a thing. It's not a website. ESO jobs world. Okay. Just tesla.org. Okay. ESO jobs feed. Like that's not a website. That's not, that's not meeting the search intent. Then go abroad. Okay. Indeed.com indeed.com to find an ESO job. No glass door to find an ESO job. No LinkedIn. All right. I mean, I guess you could like network with foreign English teachers or maybe the person who's a principal or something like that or maybe a an ESL startup in a foreign country maybe like I could see LinkedIn taking that angle that's all right but it's missing out other on other websites like for example uh ajarn.com this is the most popular website in Thailand for finding an ESL job in Thailand as an example and it's not even mentioned over here so this is why I mean like this auto blogging stuff it's like yeah you're going to automatically publish this to your website it's a quick little blurb doesn't go into any detail pros and cons like no insider information and then it has just a lot of fluff what qualifications do you need what are different types of jobs what countries have the most jobs where are the benefits where are the challenges where are the average salaries like okay like a few of these are okay but it's just like the bulk of this article is not meeting the search intent which is right here the best websites for finding eso jobs it doesn't barely touches barely scratches the surface on that search query and gives me a bunch of generic surface level information on a bunch of like random 
uh, topics that are kind of useful, but not that important. Like what resources can help you prepare for an ESO job interview? Like that's all right. Now, if we navigate down here, then we have frequently asked questions and it's like, eh, it's all right. How can I apply directly through websites? Like this is just kind of silly. And then there's no conclusion. So if you were auto blogging with this site, this is the type of article that you would automatically be generating. And you're sorry, but this is not going to out competes a website that has a properly thought out ESO website job list. And the same thing over here, it's like 159 debate topics. So actually I use quick mode for best websites for finding ESO job. And then this one, 159 very good debate topics for your students. I mean, that's pretty generic. Like that's not that detailed and 159. Okay. And then it just gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it's like nine. <laughs> it's like, all right, we went from 159 and then just gives me nine. And it's like, all right, that's not really enough. And then again, it fills out the article with a bunch of fluff at the bottom. So I'm not particularly crazy about this because I'm just, it's just going to require a ton of work for me to edit and make it into a quality piece of content. I can just imagine like having a website where you create 50, a hundred of these surface level articles. Like this is not that good. SEO writing AI. So with SEO writing, you get 5,000 words for free before you're required to upgrade your account. So let me navigate over here. Let's go to the profile and the building right there. So you get free 5,000 words and you get five article generations. Then you have to upgrade to create continuing content. So let's navigate over here. So right here I have the builder going. So I just have three test articles that I'm currently creating. So good teacher quotes for inspiration, science experiments for kids, board games for four year olds. All right. So I hit my limit of the 5,000 words right here. So it did stop creating this board games for four year olds right there. We have our good teacher quotes for inspiration. So let me go ahead and click on that. And right over here, same exact structure <laughs> like a fluffy introduction paragraph education is the foundation for personal societal growth blah 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 key takeaways every single time leads off with key takeaways then powerful quotes for education and this is okay right here so motivational quotes for teachers inspiring quotes on teaching and learning the power of education quotes okay quotes on impact of teachers then we have kind of this weird chart right there, this whatever, like that's kind of odd, doesn't really fit in here, but I do like the variety of what it's creating. Then journey, the journey of education quotes, like what is that? Like what's the journey of education? Quotes on overcoming challenges. So overall, I do like that it kind of broke up the quotes into specific subcategories. That's a good idea and kind of fun thing to play around with. If I'm looking for like quotes about this, quotes about that, but the overarching topic is education, but overall it's still kind of all over the place. And again, at the very bottom, a bunch of fluff. What's the purpose of this section? <laughs> like this section provides a collection of inspirational quotes. How many quotes are included in this section? There are th like, what is this? This is just weird. And then we get down there. There's no conclusion, which I'd have to write. But again, if you're auto blogging, you're just having this be automatically published to your site. You set everything up through SEO writing.ai. You're going to have to just edit everything. Writer Sonic. So Writer Sonic is another popular AI writing tool that allows you to create bulk articles. So with the bulk generate feature right there using the AI writer 5.0. And so over here, you get everything in free, plus the ability to have ChatGPT 4 and 432K. But with the free plan that's over here, you get AI Article Writer 4.0, 4.0, and so forth. So anyways, what is this AI Writer 5.0 like? So this is their, their AI Writer 5.0. You give it a bunch of reference articles up to 10 additional information, keywords, quality, language, and then the keyword and just say, hey, write, go. Now, this is the article that it generated, and it's pretty good, actually. So Dragon's Breath, Barnyard Bunch, Sequence for Kids. I would say, like, this is a lot better with a lot less fluff than other options. But let's take a look at the top reference article right here, the Tabletop Family. And here it is. This is the article. And so great board games for four-year-olds. So we have at the top here, Dragon's Breath, Barnyard Bunch, Sequence for Kids. And we have Dragon's Breath, Barnyard Bunch, Sequence for Kids. Come on, it's like literally just ripping this article off and then just rewriting everything. 
And to me, that's not good enough. And so do you really want to bulk generate articles that are going to do that for your own website? I really don't think so. And finally, to wrap this all up, let's just take a quick look at Article Fiesta. So over here, they have a scheduling feature, so you can automatically schedule blog posts to be automatically published on your website. So what's the quality of these articles that we can expect? So the keyword I have is best teacher shoes. And yes, that's a keyword that people actually search for. Over here, the optional title, you can leave it blank, so it automatically create a title, automatically selected fashion style. And then over here, you can set up to either publish or not publish to the blog. So if we click over here to connect new blog, then you just have to input this information so it automatically has access to your WordPress admin. Anyways, let's go ahead and click on create my article. And let's take a quick look at the article that was created by Article Fiesta. So 15 best shoes for teachers. We have an AI image. It's not really crisp and sharp. We have the outline over here of the table of contents, a quick little just surface level paragraph that doesn't go into much detail. Where the best teacher shoes for different foot conditions like that's a completely different keyword than what I inputted right down there. But that's interesting enough to be like, oh, OK, maybe I can look into that as a potential keyword for future articles. Best overall winner, we have an AI image of the specific shoe. And then just quick little sentence, like no detail, just quick little sentence, then insider tip, quick little sentence, insider tip, quick little sentence, quick little sentence, and doesn't really go into too much detail. And it's just a bunch of AI images. And there we go with the standard FAQ at the very bottom right there. And this FAQ is pretty basic as well. Like who should wear the best teacher shoes? Teachers? <laughs> like, well, that's just silly. And next, I just inputted 15 best board games. So I'm just curious to see what this comes up with. And it's the same exact layout. So AI generated image with text that's not crisp and sharp. It's a little bit blown out. Layout over here, then a bunch of different games. So it's interesting enough where I get a nice high level overview where it's like, best overall board games, best memory games, best matching games like this, like that's a good idea. These are like additional sub topics within the broader topic that you can explore to see if this has any type of search volume. And it's also just useful to break up this specific piece of content in this way. So I do like that, but it's the same type of layouts. So AI image, like one to two sentences, and there you go. And you get to the bottom right down here, then you have a bunch of FAQ questions, which are kind of silly, and then a conclusion. And so again, this is like what you'd be auto posting to your website. Key takeaways, pun intended, get it? Because every AI tool wrote, okay, anyways, they all create surface level content that's pretty mediocre and requires a lot of work to edit. So really, like, what's the point? You're going to be spending your time, money, and resources creating a bunch of mediocre content that maybe will rank, probably not. Now, maybe if you're creating content around a topic that we're answering a very, very specific niche question, I could see a use case because you don't want to hire a writer to answer such simple questions. Perhaps that route I could see. And the auto blogging posting feature is interesting on it on the surface, but really you're just better off using AI as a writing assistant. So I'm reminded of an interview that James Clear did with Colbert Barr back before he was James Clear, the author of Atomic Habits and running jamesclear.com, a website that gets over a million visitors a month. Before then, he was a blogger of PassivePanda.com, a website that he built to over 100,000 visitors a month in under a year. In this interview with Colbert Barr, he made one simple statement that really stuck with me. Effort still matters. And I love that because effort does matter. I find that all of these shortcuts, like these AI auto blogging tools that are all coming out, are just simply that shortcuts that maybe work in the short term, but not the long term. Easy come, easy go, as they say. The other thing you need to think about is that if these tools were so powerful at creating high quality content that actually ranks and gets a ton of traffic and makes a ton of money, why are they sharing this tool with everyone? If you actually had a competitive advantage where you're able to generate a bunch of content quickly and easily that ranked and made all this money, you wouldn't be sharing this tool with anyone. The reality is that the people behind the tool are making more money from selling the tool than actually using the tool to create content. Because the reality is that effort still matters. Now, if you want to model someone, I would model Spencer Halls of Niche Pursuits, who took his website from 3,000 visitors a day to over 15,000 visitors a day. He did that by attempting to publish 1,000 blog posts in a year. 
He failed at that goal and he ended up creating about 800 pieces of content, but the way he did it was that he hired writers. He did the work and took the time and spent the money and hired a bunch of writers to create content and developed a thoughtful process about how to process the content through the site. So like each writer selected a key word, rough draft, final draft, overview, and so forth. Yes, this takes time. Yes, this takes money. Yes, it's not as simple as clicking a button, having some auto blogging tool publish 500 blog posts on your website. But the end result is hitting all time highs with income and traffic and building a brand that has staying power. So in short, effort still matters. Build a brand and don't be lazy and stop looking for shortcuts. All right, guys, that's it for this video on AI auto blogging tools. I hope I didn't come across like your internet dad over here, but I don't want you to waste your time, money, efforts, and resources creating a bunch of low quality content that doesn't have staying power. Instead, I want you to do the work, build a brand, because effort still matters. Anyways, my name is David. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.